Approximately a quarter of the Netherlands lies below sea level. The 19 mills of Kinderdijk, just outside Rotterdam, stand for the inhabitants' battle against nature. The mills were built in the 18th century to pump the water from the diked marshes directly into the Rhine. Today, automated water scoops have taken over. Over the centuries, the preservation of their living space has turned the Dutch into experts on water protection, using natural methods. As here, in Otterland, the Rhine has always played an important role. If it weren't for the Rhine, then we would definitely be sitting in a swimming pool here. We can't live without water. For everyone who lives here, the Rhine is an important life-sustaining source as it's responsible for removing excess water. Shepherd Hu Hachot grew up on the dike marshes between the Rhine branches. He knows how important dike protection is. You have to see the area as a kind of bathtub. We're at the deepest point of the bath, and the outer dikes are its edges. If something goes wrong here, the whole area is flooded. Huchachot has been a shepherd his entire life. For him, tradition is important. With his 400 sheep, he's on a daily mission to protect the dikes. The Schornebeker are an old Dutch breed of sheep and have several assets. They aren't fussy and serve as natural lawn mowers, not even sparing weeds. With their hooves, they compact the soil of the dikes. These sheep have a very special character. Farm or meat sheep just run around disorientated. But these sheep are always busy, always trying out things and following the shepherd's lead. Should an animal decide to go off on its own, border collie Gwen is there in a flash. She's Hu's loyal assistant and his best friend. One whistle and Gwen establishes order. An ambitious task among the countless canals. For one day's work, Gwen is given three days off. Then one of her colleagues takes over. Huch has his own farm in Otterland, where he keeps the animals in a barn during winter times. How exhausting the job as a shepherd can be becomes apparent at the latest when the sheep is given a full body shave. Shearing the sheep is exhausting. First, you have to get each sheep into position. Wedge it between your knees so that it can't escape. And then there's the actual shearing. You need to make flowing movements with both hands. If you clip them like this, then the whole thing gets out of hands and you end up with holes. The combination of shearing and holding the sheep in place is really hard work for the muscles. I always say, one day of shearing ages you by 10 years. Huch is very attached to his sheep. The lambs that have lost their mothers get extra attention until they're old enough to follow the herd on the pastures. A day of sun is a romantic day. A day of rain is a romantic day. But every day it's worth being out of doors in nature. I expect to live till I'm 100, so I'll be able to do this job for a few more years. Come by. Come by. 
Ten. Oh, wait. Good girl, good girl.